Amen. Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus. Uh -huh. Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus. Yeah. For those of you that need a little more clarification <laughs> of Ephesians. Now unto him mm -hmm. that is able. That's right. To do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. Mm -hmm. According to the power that worketh in. I, 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 I need to run that word. Read that one more time. Come on, say that. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Now unto him. him. Mm -hmm. Not me. Help me somebody. That's right. Not, not, not Reverend AJ. Uh -huh. Not Pastor Marshall or, or, or Leslie. But now unto him. Can y'all say him this morning? Him. 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 Now unto him that is able, help me somebody, to do exceedingly. Somebody say exceedingly. Exceedingly. Then it's followed by abundantly. Can you say abundantly? Abundantly. Amen. Above all that we ask or think, mm -hmm. according to the power that working in me. Do y'all know that y'all got power working in you this morning? I said, do y'all know that you have power working in you this morning? Amen. Unto him be glory in the church. Amen. By Christ Jesus throughout all ages. Amen. World without end. Let the church say amen. amen. Somebody ought to give God praise right there. I, I, I can open the little church right now. Uh -huh. Amen. We can go ahead and have communion and go on home. Help me, help me somebody. Yeah. Amen. On a high note, amen. God is able. That's right. Do y'all know that this morning? Uh -huh. God is able. Uh -huh. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh -huh. God uh -huh. is able. Uh -huh. Turn to somebody else and tell them, say, God. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all don't sound like you mean it this morning. Uh -huh. right? Tell them, say, God. this morning, amen, comes from Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus, yeah. i.e. E, 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 the book of Ephesians. Mm -hmm. This letter, amen, consists of only six chapters. Am I right about it? Right. The first three chapters are devoted to the theology or the study of the nature of God and of religious belief. That's right, sir. Amen. The last three chapters are devoted to, amen, amen, Christian ethics or, or, or moral principles. Do you know there's a certain way that Christians ought to act? Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, I didn't get no real, no Amen. quick response right there. Uh -huh. Y'all know that there's a that there's a way that Christians Amen. ought to act, Amen. and you ought to be able to distinguish between Amen. Christians, Amen. Amen, and folk that are in the world. Somebody yeah, ought to be yeah. a witness in here. That's in right. fact, let me take it a little bit deeper. We ought to be able to distinguish between Christians and church folk. Uh -oh. All right, all right, uh -oh. all right, all right. Uh -huh. all right. Do I need to say that one more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ought to be able to distinguish between yeah. Christians and church folk. Yeah. While you say that, Pastor, amen, because there's a difference between a Christian and church folk. Yeah. Amen. Church folk will cuss you out. Well, y'all ain't, ain't with me this morning. Amen. Church folk will put you in your place. Help me, somebody. Amen. But a Christian, help me, somebody, will pray for you even though you do them wrong. Somebody ought to say amen in here. Amen. 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 Our text this morning, amen, verse 20 and, and verse 21 represents the close to the first Amen. Uh, half. Amen. Uh, 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 of this book. Amen. The, the the first half. Amen. To the theological section of this letter. Am I right about it? All right. All right. Come on. Yeah. Verse twenty is very familiar to us. Amen. Amen. As we recognize it as a benediction. Am I right about it? All right. It is our custom, my brothers and sisters, to receive the benediction at the end or at the close of the service or at the close of the worship experience amen as a close to the worship experience am i right about it uh -huh. yeah, yeah. amen amen uh, 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 the songs have been sang mm -hmm. the prayers have been prayed mm -hmm. 
amen, the offering has been taken. The word has been preached, amen. The doors of the church are open, have been open, amen. And at this time, or at the time, at this time, all is left is the benediction. Am I right about it? All right. By this time, help me somebody, amen, we're on a spiritual high yeah. from the worship. And I don't know about you, but I'm on a spiritual high right now. Oh, yeah. Come on, amen. Yeah. The Lord is truly in this place. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He's brought us, help me somebody, amen, we have crescendoed, help me yeah. somebody, to the time of the word. Yeah. And that's the way that it ought to be every Sunday morning. Yeah. Right. Somebody ought to be a witness in here. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. But all that is left, amen, is to give the benediction and either we are on a spiritual high or we just ready to go home. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. yeah. But this morning I want us to look at amen, this passage not as a close, help me somebody but as a statement of faith. All right. Tell somebody God is able. God is able. That's a statement of faith. God is able. When you say that God is able, you're saying that I know that my God is able. Somebody ought to say amen. 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 The last couple of years, amen, have been uh, 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 have been uh, 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 so some years that 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 we've experienced some things that we have just not experienced in our lifetimes, and I'm not talking about the pandemic. I'm talking about we have gone through some personal things. Am I right about it? Amen, amen. That has altered and changed our lives forever. Amen, amen. Many of us have gone through some things that. Have have affected us in ways that we could not even imagine. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen, amen. And let me remind you this morning, amen, it does not matter how much you love God. Uh -huh. Trouble will still come by your house. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. It does not matter how much you read your Bible and, and, and study the Word. Help me, somebody. It does not matter how much you come to church. Amen. You can be here every Sunday morning or every time the church doors open. Help me, somebody. Trouble will still come by your house. Yeah, yeah. Can I get a witness this morning? Job proves that. The uh -huh. Bible says that Job was a perfect and an upright man, one that loved God and eschewed evil. Somebody ought to be a witness in here. Amen. But how many of you know in the span of hours, help me somebody, Job lost everything that he had. Yeah. Amen. It can happen to any of us. At any time. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. Trouble can come by your house. Help me, somebody. Yeah. Amen. But when trouble comes, let me let me let me give you a little tip. Amen. Look trouble dead in the face and say, God yeah. is able. Yes, sir. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. God is yeah. able. Yes, he is. Listen now to what Paul says. Paul says in this third chapter and and the 20th verse now now y'all got quiet <laughs> now somebody still didn't get it now not talking about in a minute yeah right now i'm talking about now uh -huh. Paul says now uh -huh. unto him that is what? Able. 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 Am I right about it? Yes, yes, yes. If you will allow me, I want to pause here, amen, for a few moments, amen, and dwell on three words in the text. Is that all right? All right, all right. All right. The first word, amen, amen, that, 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 that I want to dwell on is him. Yeah. H-I-M. Yeah. Yeah. Him. him. Look at somebody and say him. Yeah. Look at somebody else and say him. him. Look at me and say him. 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 Amen, amen. Him. Now unto him. Notice that Paul says now unto him. Not now unto me. Uh -oh. Not now unto you. Uh -huh. 
not under mama, not under daddy, not under husband or, or, or wife, but Paul says in the text, now unto him. Yeah. Let the church say amen. 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 In the text, him refers to the second person of the Trinity. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. Amen. Y'all do know about the Trinity, don't you? Oh, yeah. God the Father, uh -huh. God the Son, and God the oh, Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. So in the, in the text, him refers to the second person, God the Son, uh -huh. of the Trinity. Mm -hmm. My Bible tells me in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the, and the Word and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. Anybody know the Word this morning? I said, anybody know the Word this morning? I'm not talking about, amen, every word that's in this Bible, amen, from cover to cover, but I want to know, do you know the Word this morning? Amen. Not the word that's written in the book, but the word that wrote the book. Am I right about it? Amen, amen, amen. Anybody know him this morning? Amen. You see, the word him in the text, amen, uh, refers to him, and him is Jesus. Anybody know Jesus this morning? My Lord and, and your Savior. Amen, amen. Him is not a figment of the imagination. Right. Oh, yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. Him is not a character in a book. Or y'all getting quiet on me. Amen. Him, help me somebody. Amen. Is not a picture hanging on the wall. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. Him is the same one that appeared out of nowhere into nothing and said, let there be and it was. Him is the same one that scooped up dust from the earth and formed it into him's own image and breathed into, the breath, into his uh, nostrils the breath of life. Him, help me somebody, yeah, is yeah. the same one that left his throne in glory and came down through 42 yes, generations sir, stopped in Bethlehem, born by a virgin, wrapped in swaddling yeah, clothes, yeah, laid yeah, in a manger, yeah, tabernacle yeah, in the flesh yeah, for 33 yeah, years. Yeah, him. Yeah, him. Yeah, Anybody know him this morning? Yeah, him yeah, is the same one that they came one Thursday evening and arrested him and then they marched him through the street of Jerusalem, then they put a crown of thorns on him's head, amen, and hair, and put an old rugged cross on him's shoulders and marched him up to Golgotha's ears. Am I right about it? You're right. It was him, help me somebody, yeah. that they hung between through thieves and him, amen, that hung there from the sixth until the ninth hour, uh -huh. amen, and then him said, it is finished, and uh -huh. him hung his head in the locks of him's shoulder, and yeah. him died. Yeah, yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. But that was the... Uh -huh. Lord have mercy. Uh -huh. That was yeah. the... Yeah. But this is now. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Him yeah. is still able. Yeah. Because early Sunday morning, oh. him got up, amen, with all power. Oh. That's right, sir. With all power oh. in his hands. Yes, God is able. Yes, he is. God is able. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. and let me get on uh, with the second word, amen. Now unto him uh -huh. that is, uh -huh. and is would be the second word. Yeah. All right. All right. Now unto him uh -huh. that is. Yeah. What Paul is telling us is that him yeah. is. That's good, right. sir. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. Can you tell somebody him is? Him is. Him is. Him is. Don't say it because I said it. Uh -huh. Say it because you know it. Yeah. 
I know we not learning, we, we not using what we learned in our English class. Yeah. When we were in grade school helping somebody. Come on, amen, amen. Every now and then you just got to talk like us. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Tell somebody else, hear me. Tell somebody else, hear me. Let's say it one more time for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hear me. Amen. 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 Him. Amen. In the text, amen. In the text, him represents not uh, uh, not the past, but but the uh, and not the future. But he represents right now. Him is. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. Him is making a way out of no way. Him is all up in your situation right now. Him is working a miracle out for you right now. Him is. Him is right now. Anybody need a right now, God? Oh, yeah. right Have now. you ever been in a situation where you needed God right now? Right now. Right now. Somebody might be in a situation right now that right you now. need God right, right now. now. I came to tell you that Him is, him and is. Him is right now. All right, all right. All right. Okay. And that brings me to the third word. Mm. <laughs> and I'm almost done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. The third word in the text that I want to focus on is able. How many of you know that him is able? Him is. Him is able. Amen. How many of you know that this morning? How many of you believe that this morning? How many of you know that way down deep in your spirit? How many of you have experienced in your life that him is? Amen, amen. I don't know about you this morning, and I can't answer for you, but I can answer for Earl this morning. And if y'all will allow me just a moment, and then I'm going to, amen, open the doors of the church. Amen, amen. But I know that him is able because for the last uh, 68 plus, years. Kim, amen, has kept me and never left me. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. Uh, because every day of your life, however long you've been here, him, amen, has kept you and never left you. You might have left him, but he did not leave you. Yeah, yeah. And the reason that I know that he did not leave you is because you're here this morning. Uh -huh. Tell somebody him is. Yeah, yeah. Tell somebody him is able. Amen, amen. For the last 68 plus years, amen, him has uh, has stationed an angel by my bedside that watched over me all night long as I, I slumbered and swept, amen. amen. For the last 68 plus years, amen, him reached down out of heaven, amen, amen. and touched me with a finger of love amen. and woke me up to see a day that I've amen. never seen before. I've got to close this this morning. I've got to let you go this morning. But I've got to tell you that Paul says, now unto him, help me somebody, the first word is the second word, amen, able, the third word, amen, that he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly. Somebody didn't get that this morning. Him is able to do exceedingly and abundantly. Help me somebody, somebody still didn't get it. Him is, help me somebody, him is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or even think. Somebody ought to say amen. God gave me a revelation when I was reading this last night. He said that he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask. Somebody didn't get that. He's able to do exceedingly. Sister Marshall, uh, uh, Sister Leslie, amen. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly. Amen. He's able to go further and give more that we can ask. Help me, somebody. Y'all know that some of us don't know how to ask God for that. Let me say that one more time. How many of you know that that, 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 that that sometimes we don't ask God for something? Now we are closed at telling God what we need. Right, right. But there's a difference in asking and telling. 
those of you that know me and have known me for some time, amen, I don't take lightly to folks doing what? Telling me what to do. <laughs> Am I right about it? Am I right about that, Brother Larry? We don't like to be told what to do. We are fools that tell it, God, amen, all about our friends. There's nothing wrong with that. We're fools we're, 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 we're that tell it, God, this and tell it, God, that. But in the midst of telling him, we need to ask him. Amen. Lord, fix it. Lord, work it out. Lord, do it. You know, sometimes all we have to say is just, Lord, do it. Lord, do it. Because you see, there's nothing that you can tell God that he don't already know. Somebody should have gave God some praise right there. Thank you. 